Hello everyone, I would like to say welcome back, but I'm not going to say that because you're going to get sick of me saying that. Now today is going to be a super fun video because I will be re re reacting to my first ever pageant. Now, when I say first ever, it was actually my second ever pageant and why, it's, why I'm not reacting to my actual first pageant is because I was watching the video and um... It glitches because it was made on iMovie. It's like, I literally could have made that in year four and my parents bought that for like, I don't know, 60 bucks. I was like, guys, literally that took like five minutes to edit. So let's just say I've improved a lot since this time. Um, and there is no judging in today's video. Yeah, uh, I was 12. We all had to start somewhere. Um, yes, yeah, so I started off in glitz pageants. If you don't know what that is, it's toddlers and tiara style. I now do national miss pageants that are like Miss Universe, Miss World, or along those lines. International Junior Miss is just as elite as both of those. Um, so yeah, that stage my last glitz pageant was when I was 14 years of age. Um, and let's just say we're not turning back anytime soon, but it was a lot of fun. And so I thought today I would react to me competing in a glitz pageant, my second ever one, ever. <laughs> Side note, I had to film this on, so watching it on my TV, I had to film it on my TV. So it's not the greatest quality. The lighting is a bit, how's your father? And you know what? It, it, it goes in and out, but we're just gonna have to get used to that because this is very low budget. <laughs> Let's just jump straight into it. Also, I will not be playing any sound today except for crowning and all that, purely because I don't wanna get copyrighted again. Introduction. Oh, good film in there, Rach. Australian royalty, Australian royalty pageants. They were like the elite pageant, glitz pageant here in Australia back in the day. They're not up and running anymore, but they were. That that is where it was at. Like the only the be best of the best won those pageants. I never won that pageant. I came second. Grand Supreme. I never actually won ultimate at Australian royalty pageant. Oh, oh my! I don't know who that is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the boring video. They're just introducing like here's our tiaras and everything. Oh, yeah, girl. <laughs> Glitz pageants have the best music. I swear, like, you get down to those songs. I tell you, play them, like, at a music festival, everyone would be going up, I tell you. <gasps> My cheer routine. I loved this routine. I would just like to point that one out. Um, But I didn't place, but we're just going to move on. Ooh, shimmy girl. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god. I'm wearing a hairpiece, by the way. That's not my natural hair. Ooh, work. Ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> this is why my cheer career ended. Oh, clap. Clappity clap, clap. I actually, I like this routine. I don't care what anyone says. This was one of my favorite routines. It was so much fun. It's because, ooh. I probably actually, going back to that, sorry. I actually probably got marked down for doing that, shaking my booty on stage. <laughs> Not allowed to do that, especially when you're 12. <laughs> so why I, I got told why I didn't do well in this routine was because it was technically like along the line of dance routine and this pageant was strictly modeling only, but there was a borderline to that. Like, I don't know what to say. I love this routine. I don't want that lighting. I had so much fun in this routine and I actually hand stoned that outfit. It says fierce across the top of it. Oh, did you, <laughs> did you see that? I'm going to go back to that. Seductive Rach. That's definitely going to get you a first place award. So that was Outfit of Choice. All right, so now we're moving on to the Halloween section. And I always like to point out, my mum made this outfit. My mum made a lot of my outfits. So everyone has to appreciate it, okay? My mum still loves this outfit to this day. Oh, is she gold? <laughs> wow. There's actually a corset underneath that jacket, and I still fit into that corset. It's got like gold spiderwebs all over it. And I'm like, I would actually wear that for Halloween because it's very fitting now. Oh, she got stuck. Oh, what were you looking at, girl? <sighs> I actually don't know what I was meant to be for this routine. I think I was meant to be like, <laughs> I think I was meant to be Sherlock Holmes, but like, like a scary Sherlock Holmes, I guess. I don't know. Oh, shake it. <laughs> Again, 
again, not a bad routine. Not fabulous. Oh, I'm watching you. Um, I actually think I did really well. I was nervous, as you can tell. But like, for my second ever pageant, I did pretty good. I'm not a daughter. Oh, I actually placed in that one as well. What did I come? I came, oh, I can't tell you, it's a surprise. Is this the crying? Oh, this is crying. Oh, Rachel, my filming on this is so, so bad. I'm so sorry. Can you just see like the height difference between the two other girls and me? I was, I don't know if I told, no, I haven't. So, so at my first ever pageant, actually, one lady had complained that I looked too old to be a 12 year old. Um, so they were like, There's, she can't be 12, she has to be 15. And I was 12 and too many people were like, she can't be in that age of vision, like she just doesn't look 12. And I was like, guys, I'm tall. Let's all just get over it, okay? <laughs> I was like, I'm born differently. <laughs> Let's accept it. I didn't come third, but you know the saying, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. That's me, because I came second. First runner up. Oh, I've still got my cane with me, not letting that baby go. I look so disappointed. I was probably really excited, but I look so disappointed. I think because I had already gotten like first runner up, second runner up, first runner up, I just wanted like one first place. Anyways, moving along. Oh, now we go into the formal section. Oh, my favorite. I'm actually gonna do a comparison video between this formal and my IJM formal. I think that'll be fun. I'll do it afterwards. I'm gonna re react to this first. I love this yellow dress. Oh, girl, those hands. No, relax those arms. My mom put the straps on that dress because I wasn't allowed a strapless dress. I'm so like stiff, I just need to relax. I actually look kind of pretty in that. <laughs> I love that little beauty queen. Like, like that was going to get me any extra points at all. Who knows? It probably did. <laughs> oh, so elegant. So beautiful. So beautiful. This actually, to be honest, this video isn't as bad as I thought. I was expecting a lot worse. To be honest, I probably don't think it's that bad, but you guys are going to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> I love how like my fingers are like this. My fingers still do this. Like, even um, when I'm like doing that, like my fingers still do that. So force a habit. Ooh. Force a habit though. Oh, oh. one last kiss. <laughs> so beautiful, Rach. <laughs> So that was formal okay so this is the sweetheart section that's not me just look how tall i am compared to the rest of those girls Ooh, ooh. let's let's just reenact that ooh. <laughs> i would just like to say if you are ever competing in a pageant don't do that oh turn it around oh that was a quick turn and she's back. Oh, and one more kiss. Gotta add those kisses in there. So the Australian sweetheart section, what the, they they don't do that in glitz pageants anymore. What what that section was is that they basically just judge you on your outfit. Um. Oh, this is formal. Oh, I remember being so disappointed in this one. Am I gonna get on stage? Yep, there I am. I remember being so disappointed because at the pageant before this one. I had one formal. I did really, really well in formal. And then, spoiler alert, I came second runner up this time. And I was like, you, you can even tell. Let, let, let's, re let's rewind that. I stand and I'm like, oh, me. <laughs> That's literally me. Oh, and this is crowning for Australian Sweetheart. So I had placed, out of four sections, I had placed in three. 
Right. White was a trend back then. White's always been a trend. Winners wear white, apparently. Except me. Never won in white. <laughs> I've actually never won in white. Wow. All right. So I'm like, wow, I might win this thing. Who knows? And then, bam. Always a bridesmaid. Never a bride. It's okay, right? It's your time will come. I still love that yellow dress. I still have that dress in my wardrobe. I refuse to ever sell that dress. I will sell my year 12 formal dress, but I refuse to sell my first ever pageant dress. Not happening. Oh, look at that. Once again, never first. Always second or third. There's nothing wrong with being second or third. Absolutely nothing. I was just a little brat back then and I was like, why am I winning? That is some weird lighting going on in that film. Just look at that height difference. I was literally the tallest girl. Oh my God, so funny. So if you didn't place like Queen's first runner up, second runner up, you were called a princess of the future. Like why not a princess of the present? Why are they princess of the future? What does that even mean? Come on guys, like what? Mm-hmm, everyone's princesses. I love, ah, oh my God, let's move forward. <laughs> All right, and this is when there's three of us left. Now, the three girls standing here, it's me, a girl called Letitia, and a girl called Mia Rose. We were kind of like, we all started at the exact same time, but like it was always like kind of us three, like somewhere in that time. Always like us three. We were like the three elites of our age group, so that was always fun. Um, Mia stopped pageants. I don't know what time, what age she stopped pageants at, but I haven't seen her for a while. Um, and I'm not sure what Letitia's doing at the moment, so... Congratulations, Mia! Oh my god! Alright, there is two girls left on stage, and I come second. Likewise. <sighs> what a meme. Oh, yeah. Another pretty crown. I actually don't know where any of these crowns are at the moment. I threw most of my glitz crowns away, purely because I upgraded by a lot. <laughs> oh okay that was a cute video all right thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video it was something a bit different um but in saying that it was also something that you'll never see again i don't even show my boyfriend these videos so you guys are very privileged actually he's privileged because he's he's probably the first one watching them thank you guys for watching like subscribe you know the rest i will see you next time bye <laughs> one last one <laughs>